All right, welcome to my live, people. Uh, today, we're uh, here, coming here today, Vera and myself, uh, missing, please come home. And we're here to uh, help the family to uh, find a loved one, which is their mother. Uh, we're looking for Miss Barbara Williams. And that's who, she's a female. She's age 56 years old, height 5'11", weight 240 brown eyes black uh, hair medium brown complexion she is a black woman she was born February 19 1962 and uh, last contact was December 30th at 330 p.m. so that's why we're here okay Vera I'm bringing you on uh, so we can get this show on the road and and get this process going Let's see. All right, bring Vera. Well, the family been out there today on the ground, passing out flyers and doing everything. So, all right. I'm in Firestone, but I'm here. Oh, okay. Can you hear me? I hear you. Okay. Uh, I'm just briefing them real quick about what's going on. Uh, the family has been out there already. They've contacted the news. They got the, the police to make a flyer. I think I've seen a, a news article as well on it. So, um, Vera, just go ahead. And Vera, the family reached out to us to let you guys know that. And so we're going to have one of the family members come on here and talk with you guys. So, Vera, go ahead and take it over from here. Yeah, I'm, let me move around because I'm in, but let me just say this, um, for those of you all that's listening, we only do what we can do to help these families. So again, we don't try to do, we not the know all, be all, do all. We just going to simply do what we can do. But this young lady reached out. Her mom is missing. Um, they've been out looking for her mom all day. I think this happened on Sunday. Her mom went missing and I know that her mom has some medical issues. So we are really, really um, hoping to get a search team out and to help this family and also to bring awareness because it's not really been on the news enough. And I don't know if enough people know about it. So yeah, that that's, and again, I'm in a public place, you guys, but I wanted to at least come on and say something. Um, Martin, I'm not sure if Kelly is on, but if so, let's get her on right away. Let's get her story She's told. And the only thing- keep talk. Just keep talking. She's, She's not, not on? Yeah. Okay. So, so, so again, um, I, I talked to this daughter and she's really panicking um, and, and I'm a daughter. I understand how, um, you know, can really, really take the wind out of you because in listening to her and the conversation, it took the wind out of me. So again, um, we're asking you guys to tag, share, and invite. And if anybody is able to do some footwork to come out, pass out flyers. Um, I know they've been through alleys today, um, through abandoned buildings. Um, they've searched hospitals. But whatever you can do, the only thing we ask is that you do what you can do. Nothing more, nothing less. That's it. Mm. That's, that's it for me, Martin. That's it for you. Okay, well, before you go, I want to say this. Uh... Vera and I, we, we partner up to put our platform together, join forces so we can help families. And that's what we do. Uh, when we help families, there's not a price tag uh, comes along with it. Only thing that we ask from the family is uh, thank us when they're publicly when everything is done. You know, whether you find uh, your loved one dead or alive or you don't find, just thank us. You know, uh, one thing about Ben Vera, and now we work together. We don't have, we never fall out with each other and the big eyes and big U's, but I want to say that. And we work together. Okay, Kelly is here now. Okay, Vera, I'm joint place. So you get it, get it on roll. Okay, Kelly. All right, Kelly. This is what I need you to do, Kelly. I need you to log out out of this uh, live and come back in because I don't see um, the thing on there where I can add you to the live. So what I need you to do is log out of the live, then come back in. Then I should be able to see uh, that little, there's a little thing that, a little thing I can see to bring you in. So that's what I need you to do, Kelly. So do that for me, Kelly. I, I know you're in here. Just log out of the live and come right back in. Because I don't see that little sign on there 
that tells you uh, that I can bring you in. They don't. I don't see it on there. Just do that for me. Okay. Okay. I see it now. All right. I see it now. Okay. I can bring you in now. Let's, let's get this going. All right. Bring Kelly. And Kelly's going to tell us and tell us in our own words a little bit about a mom, health conditions, where they last seen it had, uh, at, and where they had some leads at. Okay. It's adding you now, Kelly. It's adding you now. So definitely pray for this family. Uh, we want to assist this family in every way that we know how. You know, um, I know everybody got the is is busy and doing things like that. But if we actually for a little of your time, uh, just a little of your time, come and help this family. Not only this family, other families that needs us as well. I'm waiting on to come on in, Kelly. Waiting on you to come on in. I'm just adding. Yeah. This is, if you have not joined the mission, please come home. Uh, please join us. Okay, Kelly, it's some reason, I don't know what happened. It said, uh, what it says, something. Let me try to get you back again. Let me try to get you back again. Sometimes this, this happens, bring Kelly back on again. All right, I'm trying to add you again. All right, Kelly. All right, Kelly. Hey, thank you, guys. Yeah, um, uh, yeah, my she, my mother, she's been missing since Sunday. She uh was in her apartment on 45th and um Calumet, 4537 Calumet, uh Sunday afternoon when she left. Uh, she left by herself. Um, I went um by uh an old neighbor's house on 5030 Prairie. And uh, she said she had stopped by there for a few hours, and um, she left at 5.45. And at that time, it was already dark outside, and it was raining outside. That's the last person had seen her going towards King Drive. So um, the police was running the footage by the nursing home on 53rd and uh, Prairie to see they see her walking, because she don't supposed to be outside by herself. Um, she haven't had her medicine since she's been gone. Um, she she can't see out of her left eye, and she walked with a stumble. Um, and you know, she, she, right now in her condition, you know, she you no know, she might you know you she wear the pins or whatever, so so she's not able to go to the bathroom alone by herself. Um, she, it's just, uh, I know she confused by now because she had a stroke, and with ha having that stroke, she caused brain damage. So she has memory loss, so she can't, you know, she don't remember, and she don't know her new address where we live at now. So, it, I mean, she's out here. She can't find her way back home. So that's why I'm asking everybody, could they come out, reach out, and help us? We've been all down to our old address where you used to live at. The last place they said they seen her was on 62nd and, uh, King, 61st and King Drive. And by uh, the Rockchild store on 63rd and um, Vernon. It was, I had went through there passing out flyers, asking questions. Have anybody seen her, uh, heard anything? And, you know, only person I heard was said Sunday. And today is Wednesday. So it's like we have a cold trail. We can't find her nowhere. We done contacted the authorities. They done contacted all the hospitals. They contacted the more. I mean, every three hours, uh, they what we call in the hospitals. The, the missing person detectives call in the hospitals. I, you name it, we have done it. She's not admitted in nobody's hospital. So she's somewhere with somebody that don't, she don't want to be with. She don't want to be alone, period. And I just want somebody to you know, let her go. You know, call the police, contact us. There's flyers on the bus stop, everywhere that we think is possibly that she can possibly remember to be. And, um, you know, I just want everybody to come out if they can help me. You know, it's just me and my brother and my kids, you know. Because, I mean, more people we can get out to help us. It's, it's been four days now. Like, I mean... I'm, I'm worried about my mother. Anything can happen to her right now. Right. Right. Uh, uh, Kelly. Uh, Kelly. Yes. Do you have a picture? Do you have a show picture? Some show the flyers. Show the flyers. Show the flyers right here.
can you guys see the flyer right here? I have my name and my yeah, number. Bring yeah, bring it in real quick. Okay. Okay. Can you see it? Or no? Okay. Yeah, just. She was last okay, seen with see. a. Yeah, just, okay, we can see. It. She was last seen with a brown coat on, um, a cream hat. And um and some black uh tennis shoes on, black and white tennis shoes. So she had a she had a coat on. I don't know if she had on one now, because the person who they said they did see her, they they don't remember what she had on. So you know, I I I'm, I'm, I don't I, that story really don't stick with me. Cause I mean, she had a, a cream hat, a brown a brown coat. I mean, that should stand out. At least a cream hat, you know. They they don't remember what she had on. And she never okay. did before, okay. so this is her first time ever becoming missing. Besides, her, since she had this medical condition, so and she been she been with family since she had her medical condition. She never been out by herself alone with no one, not no one. She when I, when she goes out, she's with family. <clears throat> and you know we've been all Kelly, through. Kelly, Kelly, yes. Yeah. Tell 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 the audience what's her name. Her name is Barbara Williams. She go by Barb, so if you see her, just uh, say Barb. But her, she knows her name. She just don't know her way back home. She don't know her address to get back home. She you know, she goes in and out. And I know she probably extra, she probably really confused at this point now. She haven't had her medicine. She, you know, she haven't had her medicine in days. You know, she had, so I I don't even know what type of state of mind she could be in right now. You know, she have a blood clog. I mean, she need her medicine because she she able to go back and have another stroke. It's very crucial right now that she be found. Okay. Uh, uh, so so how, can how can we get in contact with you and your, and your family? My number, my number is seven seven three two zero nine thirty eight hundred. It's seven seven three. 209 3800. Um, my brother number is 773 546 8970. Um, I, I got the numbers on the flyers. If anybody want to come out and join me, uh, searching for my mother, feel free. I, I, I got flyers made. I'm willing to meet up with some, some some people. If they don't have no way, I can meet them in their area and bring flyers. I, I, whatever it takes, because this is the fourth day she's been gone. And I'm worried about her. I don't. I, it's too many crazy people out here, and you know it's a lot of missing people out here in her age group. You know, and I'm worried about my mother, and she's very vulnerable right now. You know, she. It, it's. You know, I don't want nobody doing anything to her right now. She. she her, her state of mind is not no 56 year old state of mind. She have a. You no, know, her mind frame right now is like a baby. It's like a baby being outside, left alone. That's why I'm so. Wow. And worried about her. She, I know she needs medical attention by, at this point. And whoever got her, just let her go. Just put them at a bus stop. Call the police. Take her to the store. It don't matter. Just let her go. Sit her somewhere outside so we can find her. We've been through alleys. We've been through vacant buildings. We, you name it, we've been everywhere. guys I, I know you guys you know y'all good with networking and, and pulling people out and trying to you know you know search for people and help because right now I, I, we running out of options right now i contacted the news i emailed the news um they still haven't posted her picture uh, flashed her uh picture on the news and i want that fox chicago uh, uh uh flashed her picture and they uh put it on uh, on the media website as far as her being on the wgn news and i've been emailing them i have friends of mass emailing them to trying to reach out like I me mean, she maybe she come across somebody's tv screen who house she's sitting in or maybe a, they have a company there because just go call the police call my number if they scared to call the police just please let her go you know we all worried about her yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, somebody, somebody, hold on. Hold on. I, I, need I need you to repeat that number. Somebody, somebody type the number on the screen so I can pin it up. It's 773. Repeat your number. 773 No, she doesn't have dementia. She just ha she has brain damage from having a stroke. So she lost some memory loss. The part of her brain uh, with the memory part. Of, of you know recollection of things that in her past she doesn't remember no more, you know. 
So that's 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 the thing. She not she don't she not in no mental state, but she just has memory loss just from the the brain damage. And she can't see out her left eye. And she walk with a stumble with her right feet. So her feet, you see her walking, she be walking and stumbling. She's out, she be out of breath. So you will see her pausing. She not she not walking straight. She's stumbling. Cause you know, she she bounce around when she walks. So and she's very easy to point out. Her, her, height, and her weight. height and weight. She's like uh 180 pounds. Uh, 180 pounds. She 511, and she knows she got a, you know a, a distinct to her eyes, so you can see her, one of her eyes, her left eye is messed up. You you can see it. So I mean, we all this is this is like you know, very heartbreaking for us right now. Is your number 409 or 209? Is your number 409 or 209? It's 209 3800. Do I need to type it on oh. the screen? You want me to type it on the screen? Oh, okay. Yeah, type it on the screen. Yeah, type it on the screen. Okay. Okay, I just put it there for the ones who need who want to contact me. I just uh, okay. put the number on. Okay. There. I just picked it. Right. Um, I'm going for some type of search party if I could. I, I just want to do whatever I need to do. I can get everybody out. We can just go back to this neighborhood, you know, down from King Drive where they say they sent her at. I mean, where is she at? Is she, I, I was, I've been hollering her name. Screaming her name out by the buildings. We've been looking through lots everywhere. Like, I just need, I, I just want to you know, pull some people out. You know, she need to be found. She cannot stay wherever she at. She don't need to be there. It's, it's not safe for her. You know, it's very crucial. She, when she was in the hospital, she been in the hospital for three months. You know, she almost didn't make it then. So, you know, it's very important that she get her medicine. It's very important. She, she needs this medicine to take. You know, it, it, whoever got her, I mean, that, that's, that's a flight risk. Like, you need to let her go. Because I know she's not out here walking. We don't surf everywhere. We surf this everywhere. We can possibly surf all through the area. We went outside the area. She's not nowhere. It's been snowing. It's been raining. I know she's not out here. We surf everywhere. Well, um, so I, that, tell I, us how long you I just wish I could be good. I just need a, uh, somebody just come out. Tell us how long you guys was outside today. We've been outside since 11 o'clock this morning. We just came back in like, uh, what, 3 o'clock? We've been out there just circling the block, circling, circling. We've been out. We go out every morning to try to catch people that, you know, probably know her, uh, you know, from the old area. Have they seen her walking around? My mother, she get up early. She's a morning person. She be out. She up. She she's up very early, and I know she have a tendency of falling asleep and dozing off. Like she uh, sit somewhere and just doze off. So I know. I mean, she could be somewhere. You know, the fell asleep. I don't know. She. I don't want her to be somewhere cold, froze, because she doze off. Like she could sit there and she'd be sleeping the next three minutes. Like she really need medical attention. <clears throat> she would. She. she <clears throat> I mean, that's why, because they take us to the hospital if they're afraid. If you're afraid, just take her to the hospital, drop her off, call, call the police and just tell them where she at. Just leave her somewhere so we can find her. Whoever watching this lab, whoever knows who's seen her walking around or with someone, she's with someone. She's not, a, she's not out here by herself. She's with someone. Someone is helping her. She's somewhere with someone. I can't see her not looking for my brother or looking for me. Because she knows she's supposed to be by herself. She can't even get up and fix herself a sandwich. So I know she, she's probably hungry. Or, you know, she not even, she not able to cook for herself or anything. I know she's hungry, need, you know, need to change her clothes, need her to pee in. I know she needs some help right now. And whoever got her, please just let her go. That's, I, I, that's all I can repeat is let my mother go. I know, I know, um, um I can't come, I out, can't come out tomorrow, morning, but, but I'll be available, I'll be available after, in the afternoon, after, after, two. after two. 
That I do. That's that I do, though. So I can, I can commit, I can to commit to my, I'll call you. you. Okay. I, and I'm going to tell, tell you. I don't mean to, I don't mean to sound selfish. That's fine. I don't need, I don't a, whole need a whole lot of people. people. You know, two or three, two or three people. people. Man. Man. We work together. We work together. And make things happen. Make things happen. That's fine. It, 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 it's been like five of us already out here mm. driving mm. around, continuously driving around. It could get dark because, you know, once it get dark, you know, in the next, we, on, she was missing on Sunday and we was out as late as we could on that Monday, but it was New Year's Eve. They got the shooting, so we was afraid to really be out there. You know, we didn't want to run into no straight bullets, you know, knocking on people's doors and people shooting off their porches and stuff. So that, that was one day that really, a crucial day that we really, that really hurt our whole situation. Because it was, it was New Year's Eve. That was a bad day for us, but we still was out there in the rain. It was pouring down rain. We was out there still looking, looking. All the stores, you name all anywhere was a lot of commute and we did it you know we couldn't put the, the flyers on people's doors because the, the rain was coming down so hard and the flyers were not able to stick but anywhere we could have stick them at where it was a dry place we had done that everyone yeah. they're gonna call me and contact me if they hear anything so i still haven't had no more leads to pass the lead the lead i had on sunday Okay, that's Kelly. All, that's all I did, had, uh, but. Okay, Kelly. Did uh? Did you check any like uh? Did you check any like uh local, shelters, like, uh, local shelters within the area? We went down to Fifty First um in Indiana to do a hope. We went down to Garden Pacific, put the flyers down. The, the security guard said they haven't seen no one, you know, in her description. They was gonna contact us if they see anything. You know, I we did that too as well. We went to all the shelters. All, all the shelters. And our next thing is going to all the train stations, you know, put them on the train station. Maybe somebody probably has seen her. We did, all, we did all the bus stops, you know, where people were standing there getting on the bus, you know, and probably could have seen her and within that area. But that's the place they said they had seen her towards Vernon, 62nd and Vernon, and 60, 61st and King Drive, and right there by the liquor store. And, you know, I see a lot of, you know, people, you know, people that's out there soliciting and things like that so you know i gave them some flyers and said they seen her please contact me or contact my brother you know call the police if you can't you know just do something it's all of all the stores all all that we went to all my old areas where we used to live at back from 10 years ago just in case her man probably remember her to go back to an old address we went back from 10 years ago to where we used to live at no one that no one has seen her since she got sick. Cause she had been one in the more, house. One more question. Yeah. Uh, uh, sure, face, face again. Show the fire again. again. Okay. Can everyone see her? Yes. 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 And she go by the name of Barb. Her name is Barbara. Well, we call her Barb for short. Okay. Okay. Can you think of anything else? Can you think else of anything else that would probably help? I I I I'm I don't, I'm 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 trying to think like what else I, I I I really don't even know like I I I don't did so much research to it's just it's so bad because she she been in the house for like months so you know everybody who she was in contact with she don't she haven't contacted them in so many so many months. And everyone who I went by and checked, they haven't seen her since she got sick. And she got sick in July. So she haven't been out, out active since July. She been with family because she can't be left alone. Wow. wow. Yep. Well, you know what? You know what? Let me say this. Anybody, anybody that, that wants to help a family, family, family Miss please come along. You inbox, inbox us. 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 You Call, you Kelly call direct. Kelly direct. And because we, we, we have to help her because today is her. Today is her. And tomorrow may, and be, tomorrow you. may be you. This could be anybody mother. You know, this could be this could be anybody mother that this happens to, you know. And and and, and I, the, the, my frustration has wrong. I, I mean, I, I'm just hoping no one has my mother taking advantage of her because of her condition. 
that's I, I'm, that's my biggest fear. No one has heard of her or, you know, got her somewhere her own will. I, I, no, without her will, you know, she got her holding her there and she can't come home. She don't know her way back home. You know? So she suffered from a so memory, loss, from a memory loss, loss due to a stroke, right? Yes, because from her having her stroke, she had lost oxygen to her brain for so many minutes, it caused brain damage. So that part of her brain of her remembering things, she don't remember. She she might say her mother's still alive. My mother my grandmother been dead for fifteen years. She 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 that's how far she go back. She be looking for her mother sometimes. Somebody she might see, I want my mother, my grandmother been dead for fifteen years. So you know, that's how far she'll just go back a little bit and she think people that's alive that's that's, that's deceased are still living. Wow. <laughs> I went by my grandmother. Did she, 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 she recognize you as a daughter? As a daughter? Yeah, she knows me. Uh, she know me as her daughter. She know all my kids, her grandkids. She know my brother. She know everybody. It's just people that she haven't seen. She just started bringing them up and strike a conversation up. Like, you know, like, hey, I, 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 I need to, my mother called me today. Did I talk to my mother? You know. Them type of conversations she'll start striking up with you. Like, oh, I ain't talked to her today. I wonder she, what is she doing? And I have to remind her, like, no, ma, she's been deceased. She's not here. Or she'll bring up her sister that passed away last year. You know, someone else she was very close to. That was her favorite sister. She'll say, why she ain't been back here to see me today? You know? And my aunt, she's been dead for a whole year. So these type of conversations she might have and someone see her, she might ask her about my grandmother, my her sister, or I know she she's looking for my brother because my brother is the one who, uh, who you know, her primary caregiver. Um, so she'll be asking for my brother, saying she want her son or she'll want me. That'll be the next person she asks for. We're the two people that take care of her. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna do my part. I'm gonna do my part. You guys, guys, have to do your part. Let us help this family and bring her back home safe. safe. Thank you, guys. You know, uh, I thank everybody for sharing the video. Keep keep sharing my pictures. Maybe it can reach to the right hand to the person. No, it could be the neighbor, the person who she with. Please share share. The photos, the videos. I'm just trying to get to my, reach my mother. It's been the fourth day, and she's out here by herself. Or well, she with someone. This she never. This never happened. She never been missing before. So this is something new. This never happened. Never. Never. So she got to be with someone she not supposed to be with. Cause then everybody that know us have been calling, been texting, and saying how we found her. So she with someone that we do not know. And it's not right. This is not right. This is not right. You, uh, you, uh, did you want to say a prayer on here? Pray on here or something? Pray for, pray for your mom. I believe, I believe in prayer, too. So, too, so, so I'm not just a crime chaser. Go ahead and pray. You can say a prayer for me. I've been praying, praying, praying. I, 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 I'm praying for safe returns. And I'm, I mean, I'm praying whoever got her have some compassion for her and, you know, and see her condition and, and you know, and bring her home, you know, have a heart. You know, this is the worst New Year's ever, not without my mother being here, you know, like I'm we bringing our first year in with our mother being gone. So I just pray that someone got some heart and have some compassion for our, our, sympathize with us and let our mother go, please. Please. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, well, let me say this, me say this before, before you go. You go. Uh, um, if, if anybody, anybody out, I, know I know I found the echo. Anybody out there have Miss Barbara Williams? Call nine one one or drop off at the police station somewhere, in a public place. And call and Kelly. Call Kelly. Or call me. Or call me. I'll come pick, I'll come pick up. No questions. No questions asked. asked. Just call Just me. Call me. I promise you, I'll come. I don't even, I don't even want to see your face. Please. Just point to Miss Barbara, Barbara that this she is. I'll get it. I'll get it. And bring it back to the family. That's what I want to say. On public. Thank you so much, Martin. Thank you so much. I All right. And Vera, and I thank everybody. I, I, I thank everyone. Just y'all guys, my last thing I want to say, you guys, please, please, Sharon. 
and reach out. No matter, we share the videos and share my posts. And you know, thank. I, that's all I want people to do. I want to get to the right hand. That's right. That's right. And thank. All right. I, all right. Okay, oh, I will. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll call the person back. Okay. okay. I, um, and I, you know, I will um, see you tomorrow at 2 o'clock and call my phone and I'll be ready, me and my family. Okay. I'll call you. Can you uh, hear me, Mark? Yeah. I'll call you. Uh, yeah, okay. I hear you. Okay. Yeah, I hear you. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Bye-bye. 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 All right, people, y'all heard it for yourself. This is live, unedited, uncut. This is real. Like I said in the, on, on, in, in the live, that it's her today and it may be you tomorrow. So don't just take this lightly. It can happen to any one of us. We see this too often, too often. So let us get on it. Let's pray for this family. Uh, if, if anybody that's listened to this that know where Miss Barbara Williams is, Barb, they call her, you can call me, inbox me, I'll come and get her. Or you can call Kelly. The number's right there. It's pent on the live. I wonder if my partner, if she's still on here, if she want to come back and say anything, Vera, you're still on here. You can come back on and talk if you like. No problem. So I will be calling her after two tomorrow and hooking up with the family and do some foot patrol, getting on the ground and passing out some flyers. Hopefully we can engage with the community and see if we can find any more leads or something like that. So um, that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. You know, that's what I'm going to do. So I, uh, I appreciate every last one of you guys for tuning in. Do me a favor, share this video and share the flyer as well. Keep your eyes open and keep your ears listening. You might hear some, you know some. I want to say to the, uh, the Coles family, we're still praying with you guys, and we're hoping the best turn out with that. All the missing uh, loved ones out there. This is a new year. Uh, it's, it's a hard pill to swallow, people. I've never really been in that situation, but Lord have mercy. And I can imagine in my mind what's going on with some of these family members. A mother, a mother, people, a mother. And the mother have not been outside for three months. First time outside, and this is what happened. So um, we just need to find her, bring her home, and get her the help that she needs, the medical attention that she needs, her medicine, and all that. So please, if you out there, people, if you know where Miss Barbara is, please let us know. Please, please. Beg of you. I don't even want to know your name. Just, hey, say, come and get her. And that's it. And I'm coming. I'm on my way. I'll drop whatever I'm doing and come and, and grab her and bring it back home to her, her daughter and her son. So I appreciate you guys. Uh, God bless you. Continue to pray for me. This is my second video of the year. And we're, um, we're hitting the ground running. We're not letting the weather detour us. We're not letting the weather. So I appreciate you guys. We're still running. Uh, we're about uh, doing, as Vera say, kingdom work documentation beast conversation so that's what we're about so all that other talk mean nothing we're going out hitting the fields hitting hitting the ground running i appreciate every last one of you guys pray for the crime chaser i always say pray that god keep you from danger seen well as danger unseen peace out people blessings <laughs>